Good morning, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. This is the Oracle of Zoraya Utranaya, and today I'll be doing a reading for you for the week of May the 26th to June the 1st, 2024. I've already cut your decks and I've shuffled them all thrice, utilizing the numerology of the date, May the 26th, 2024. So let's dive right in. Okay. First card we have for you, Scorpio, is the Ace of Wands. A very awesome energy here. We have new beginnings, impetuous energy, passion-driven projects, perhaps that you are wanting to start or that you have started already. This is a, a, a good indication of positive energy and forward moving momentum with some sort of new thing that you want to build, okay? You see there's a castle here and it's supposed to look like it is crumbling and this is so when things are crumbling or falling apart um, and not working out anymore you know this could be a metaphor for things in your life like a job relationships society in general systems it's a perfect opportunity for you to tap into this as an opportunity to create something new to build something new the court cards in the tarot um, of the wands are the builders, especially the knight of wands, okay? So what are what can you build in your life that can um, open up pathways for you to become more self-reliant, to be the master of your own domain? When doors close in life, others can open. Others do open, like that is going on with the whole collapsing of something and the building of something. So when things don't work out for you, you should see, try to see the opportunity where uh, opportunity to build something new lies. So this is a really good indication that there is some positive momentum moving forward, something that you want to create, as this is the ace of wands. We then have the King of Cups. Now the King of Cups is quite psychic and he dabbles in the occult. Now occult is not a bad or negative or evil thing. Occult means hidden or secret knowledge. So he dabbles in perhaps magic, in alchemy, in the secrets of the universe, of astrology, things that might be taboo in our current society, but that also in the background runs the society behind the scenes. And so maybe there is something that you are trying to pursue here, a new project. Maybe you are wanting to read tarot on uh, YouTube, starting a new project about utilizing these new skills maybe that you are tapping into or this new knowledge that you are perhaps dabbling in this might not even be new stuff but you might be wanting to utilize these skills maybe utilizing your psychic abilities your clairvoyance your clairsentience your clairaudience telepathy maybe you're channeling maybe you're a medium creating something new here uh, as some sort of project that you can build upon that can maybe make you money or be a hobby for you that you enjoy doing. Be, it, you have a lot of energy towards this and it's a passion of yours that you want to pursue. This could also signify, because we have the collapsing castle in the background, being in alignment, even though that there is uh, chaos and collapse going on in our external world. And you see here how he is in choppy waters. Despite the choppy waters that are happening around him, the King of Cups maintains his stoic ability. Sometimes he might come across as being cold, but he is not or not non-responsive. Unlike the Queen of Cups, who can be quite emotional and overly emotional and can overreact to situations. The King of Cups doesn't. He remains a stoic nature, 
And despite what is going on around him, it would be chaotic waters or choppy waters, he remains constant and in control of his emotions. Okay. So you are going through some sort of change here. Something in your life perhaps is collapsing. It could be a job uh, that you might be, um, you know, if, I don't know if some of you maybe got laid off or having trouble finding a job and now you're trying to find your purpose. Perhaps you are going through a spiritual death and maybe you are realizing that your old life is done. Your, your old self is done. Maybe you've seen the world through like the eyes of a normal person and your old sense of the world is collapsing like the castle here. And you're, you're going through a spiritual awakening. You see, even the Pope dies. Like Death does not discriminate. And neither does the path of spiritual awakening. If you can see what is going on. If you're not ready for the spiritual awakening, it can wreak havoc on your life. The Kundalini awakening is not pleasant. It's not fun and roses like they would make it seem uh, in the media or on the internet. It is quite dark. You start questioning everything that is real. You start seeing the world for what it is. So, you know, this can be a representation of your Kundalini here. And now you are starting with the Ace of Wands, a new life. It might be turbulent because you are being awakened to your extrasensory abilities. Your old self is dying, going through the death process. But from the ashes, the Phoenix will emerge. The sun will come out again. You see these two pillars here? These pillars are the pillars of the moon card. And they represent obstacles. So perhaps some obstacles or some external situation has been the catalyst for this awakening of yours. But you're being encouraged to keep going. Go through the obstacles. Because a lot of powerful information about yourself lies going through these struggles and hard times. I always utilize Lord of the Rings as a perfect example of how struggle, trials, traumas, and tribulations is what exposes us to our true nature and who we really are and what we are capable of. The book about Frodo, who is a hobbit, a really just simple hobbit, naive about what the world is like. He lives in the Shire. He just lives a really simple life. Never had been on an adventure before, never had been exposed to any sort of challenge. And he has to, he's, he's been given a burden that he has to carry to destroy this ring. And he has to go to Mordor to destroy it. And his epic, the hero's epic adventure where he fought, like, goes through all these challenges and tribulations and hardships and struggles. He determines and he can see what, his, how much, how powerful he is and what he's capable of. And that, and this whole adventure goes across three novels. And... The, the book could have been just one page where Gandalf could have got his hawk friend to fly him to Mordor and then destroy the ring. But that would have killed the epic, the hero's epic journey. Like in Greek mythology, right? This is when you really get to see what you're made of. And sometimes even someone dying in your life 
can be the catalyst for your spiritual awakening. So I, I'm feeling that, you know, and I, with all my sympathy, if there is someone out there out um, that has lost someone, I'm not feeling that someone is going to die. I feel that perhaps for some of you, you have gone through recently a death of a loved one, and this has thrown you upside down. And this is the catalyst to your spiritual awakening. And my deepest sympathies to you, but you will get through it. The sun will come up again, and there is hope. It's part of life. I have gone through many deaths in my lifetime, experienced the death of many loved ones, so I can empathize, not only sympathize with you there. Okay, let's move on here. With the Ace of Wands, we have, yeah, the Three of Pentacles. So we are tapping into this new energy, passion, drive, wanting to build something new out of the ashes of the old. And you're building something of quality here, whatever it is. It can be a project with respects to your spiritual gifts, or it can be something tangible or something that a business that you want to create or all of the above. This gentleman here and whatever this is that you're building is going to be the solid foundation for the rest of your life. You see here, he ha he's in the basement of like a church and the basement is the solid foundation. These pillars are holding up the structure. And he is, he has crafted with his hands, his skills, the skills that you perhaps are utilizing, but this might be either with your hands or with your extrasensory abilities. He has chiseled out the statue here and he is master of his craft. And on the normal Rider Waite deck, he hasn't built this yet and he is collaborating. He is standing on this stool and he is kind of teaching and they are listening to him like he is a master. But he's working with a group and he's mentoring. They are seeking out his advice on how to go about building this. And this is from the after tarot. And this is a moment after the original image from the normal Rider Waite deck. So now he has completed what he was planning to work on and it is a piece of beauty and art. So transmuting any sort of hardship and chaotic energies or choppy situations that are like making your emotions heightened transmuting it into creating something new this is the new project this is the new uh business if you're not if you want to pursue an entrepreneurship or just getting a hobby where you can transmute your emotions into something of a beauty like music or painting or sculpting Okay. With the King of Cups, okay, so staying in charge of your emotions during choppy waters, being in tune with your psychic abilities, you're being called here to rest and recuperate. Take the time that you need to process things that are happening around you. And I'm, it's also, I'm getting, you should be maybe trying out meditation and yoga and maybe even kundalini yoga where you focus on breath work and chanting it really gets energy going in you it's really beautiful so taking time out when you need it and not just going 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 and and trying to put forth a stoic face even though you might be having some hardships and trouble maintaining your stoic composure if you do, if you need a break, take one. Allow yourself to process situations. You don't need to react to things all the time. Because there are blessings coming in for you. She is bestowing blessings here on somebody. And then in the window, there is a priest also bestowing blessings upon an initiate here. 
So take the time that you need to rest, recuperate, and know that this next chapter in your life is going to be one of blessings. But you need to be able to transmute what you're feeling into something into the 3D world. It would be a song, music, art, writing, creating videos, sharing your gifts with the world. And then with the death card, we have the six of pentacles. So this, this can be a card that signifies gifts given and gifts received. So as you are receiving your gift from the universe, your blessings from the universe, you are also being asked to share your gifts with the world. <laughs> And choose what you put your focus on. This merchant here, he is weighing out his options as to where he wants to give his energy to or like what he wants to share his wealth to, metaphorically speaking. Some things in life, like watching the news or focusing on things that are happening in the world, might not be beneficial for you some days. Some days you might want to watch it and it doesn't affect your vibrational frequency. But some days you might want to rest from it and take a break, regroup, be mindful where you are putting your energy and how it is affecting your vibrational frequency. This is another card as well about blessings coming in from the universe too. So, but blessings can come in disguise. And perhaps this hardship that you are going through or this transformation that you are going through, this death and rebirth that you're going through is a blessing in disguise or it's a blessing, but you don't see it that way yet. But when you look back on it down the road, you will see that it in fact was a blessing because it diverted you into the direction that is allowing you to tap into this creative new path. Very interesting reading. Let's end this off with a sacred geometry card. And it is the DNA number 25. Conscious evolution. Human DNA uses the phi ratio to form the wave that spins our genetic codes. Within the double helix of our DNA and the human energy field, we each have access to a hidden store of knowledge and wisdom called the force or holy light. Unlocking this information is a primary study of many individuals today who feel that human potential and the ability to heal ourselves and the planet are encoded in this spiral matrix. We presently know of two strands and 64 genetic codons in our DNA. We are in the process of activating codes that will aid in the shift from third dimensional to fourth dimensional reality, which is the course evolution is taking. We are turning on 10 additional strands of DNA, which including the present two will afford us with what seems at this point, unlimited possibilities. The emotions of love and compassion influence the harmonics of the heart and speed these changes to our DNA. Each time you act from your heart rather than from fear, you contribute to the evolution of humankind and the healing of Mother Earth. Open your heart to the reality that love is the answer. Very powerful reading. If this reading resonated for you, my dear Scorpio, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. That is something that you'd like to do. You could also hit that bell notification to let you know when I release new videos. And if you want a more holistic approach as to what is going on with your week, not only check out your sun sign, but also your moon, your rising, and your Venus. I am truly grateful for your energy. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you have a wonderful week.